This is our Swift Base Camp 2. It's a 2020 model and we've owned it for a year. And during that time, we have toured the length of the country, including pitching up under the mighty Ben Nevis, enjoying the sunsets of the Lake District. We have pitched at a variety of coastal sites in Cornwall, Wales and Scotland. We have also pitched up at a variety of campsites in Wales, including the glorious Welsh rolling hills and valleys. We have enjoyed extensive long hot sunny days multiple continuous wet days and full-on winter cold wet and windy nights and during all of that the base camp has performed impeccably and we've thoroughly enjoyed the experience so far so with that in mind why does the question of quality on swift base camps keep raising its head. Let's discuss in this video. The Swift Base Camp is a very funky looking, practical and functional compact caravan. Its design and the reason it was designed is not to be like a traditional caravan. And for all those reasons, it generally appeals to newcomers coming into caravanning, such as us. This is our first caravan, albeit we do have experience of leisure vehicles. But that said, going back to the original point, generally newcomers to caravanning buy a base camp as their first leisure vehicle. And with that in mind, this is the reason we tend to get a lot of questions relating to the quality of a base camp. So. If you're watching this video, it's very likely that you're considering to buy a base camp. And a good place to start, if you haven't done so already, is to go onto Facebook and have a look and join the Swift Base Camp Owners Group. That, that Facebook group has over 4,500 members and is a wealth of knowledge and information relating to the base camp. And on that page, we do tend to find sometimes that owners will come and ask a question because there's been an issue. They've bought a base camp new, something's broken on it, and they'll come and ask a question to find the answer, or something's not working properly. Now, as newcomers, as, as we were, we may read something like that, that there's been a problem, and then think that that applies to all the base camps, which just, just isn't the case. However, do base camps have problems with quality and construction? Yes, they do. They, they, they do. However, that is not unique to base camps. That can apply to all caravans, even the top end super premium £45,000 plus 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 Buccaneer caravans can have problems with them. It's just the way that they're made and the way that they're constructed. Now, having owned this base camp for over a year now, and we've been out on it in all four seasons, in all weathers, and the base camp has performed impeccably. So I think that I can bring some peace of mind to that question about quality. So in this video, we'll have a look round the base camp and I'll point out some common problems that have been reported and some things that you may want to look for if you're looking at a base camp currently. And also, we have had a couple of niggles on this base camp and I'll show you what they are, but they're very, very minor. And another thing to consider is that the warranty on the base camp. So if you get by a base camp, there is a long warranty so that if you have any problems, you can get them fixed by your dealer. However, if you're like us, that you buy a used base camp. So this was a year old when we bought it. Used base camps tend to have had any minor niggles or imperfections fixed under warranty at purchase. So generally, when you buy a used base camp, it comes to you with no problems at all. So with all that in mind, Let's get into it and start with the construction of a Swift Base Camp. Historically, caravans were constructed by the way of a full timber frame covered with an aluminium sheet outer shell. 
And although this has served campers well for many decades, there could be problems should water ingress occur, creating damp and rot to the timber frames. The base camp uses swift, smart, intelligent construction system. This strong, timberless body frame uses glass reinforced plastic that is totally impervious to water. The full GRP and foam construction gives a flatter and stiffer surface, ideal for fixing windows to. Also, it allows for the construction of the instantly recognisable curve to the front of the Swift Base Camp. Swift Smart Intelligent System provides excellent durability and impact resistance and gives the owner peace of mind that they have a very strong caravan. So now that we know that the Base Camp has a very strong, waterproof, highly insulated exterior shell, Let's have a quick look around the interior. So, as I mentioned, the base camp is designed to be a crossover vehicle. That space in between a camper van and a caravan. So the base camp doesn't have the luxurious finishes of more premium caravans. It is designed to be a practical and functional space for the great outdoors and it is a space that you can spend multiple days or multiple weeks living in as we have done now on several occasions let's talk about little screws when you buy a base camp whether brand new or used i almost guarantee that you will pick up a couple of these little screws in the first few months of owning it. Now when you see one you initially panic because you think that something's come away or something's come off and I have searched the base camp up and down to try and find where these little screws have come from and I've actually come to the opinion that they're just left over from the construction process that the craftsman has dropped one or two three or four of these whilst he's been doing his work they've hidden themselves behind a unit or behind the bed and as you're towing it they just roll out. So if you see these little screws, just assume that they've been left behind and that they're not falling off your base camp. The kitchen in the base camp is excellent, it has to be said. So what have we got? In this base camp, we've got the um, oven and grill, which we use all the time, works absolutely perfectly. The three burner hob, the tap and sink, the work surface. This is a great work surface. It's, a, it's like an anti-scratch, almost like a self-repairing work surface. If you mark it, it just seems to disappear. The worktop is very, very good. And then obviously we've got the, the Dometic fridge, which works on gas and electric. So, you know, from a quality perspective, we can't really complain with the kitchen. However, there has been one continuous reported issue and that is to do with the glass panels at the back. There have been multiple reports of these smashing on new base camps. And I think I know what the problem is. If you look at our version here, there is a gap that's running down, a very narrow gap in between the two panels. And I think if a base camp is, has been um, cr constructed with those two panels touching each other, the vibration of towing, I think, is the issue that's causing them to break. So that's just my view. So it is something to look for. That has been a continuous reported issue. But we've been towing our base camp for about 3,000 miles now, and they're absolutely fine. The next thing to look at is the whale hot water system, which is located in the wardrobe behind that panel there. I have raised the panel and I'm just resting it on the bottom of the wardrobe there. And then that reveals the whale hot water system in blue. And then below that are the electronics for the caravan. Now, depending on whether you have the Swift command system installed or not, will determine how much wiring you have below there. But you can see there's significant electronics there and rather a lot of plumbing. So you wouldn't want any issues with that water system, i.e. leaking.
in the top right hand corner of the water heater is the hot water outlet valve and you can see here that there is a brass fitting. Whale did replace that fitting with a plastic one on a number of base camps and with no surprise that plastic fitting failed and numerous base camps did get flooded. So if you're buying a used base camp one of the first things I'd recommend you do is come in and have a look at the Whale water heater and just check that that fitting there is brass and not black plastic. Into the wet room. Now this is one um, little niggle that, that we've had and it was completely caused by myself and it's to do with the shower rail. So if you notice that I've now got the shower head on a self-adhesive um, head attachment stuck to the wall and the reason for that was because I was naively tucking the shower curtain behind the shower rail when I wasn't using the base camp and what happened was is I managed to dislodge the screws here in the in the um, in this rail so I got an NCC engineer out to repair that I could have done it myself it would have taken me five minutes but I got an NCC engineer to repair it because if there was any problems or any leakage then it would go against his liability insurance. So um, as it happens, while I was waiting for the engineer to come around, I installed this um, self-adhesive shower head holder. And actually that worked brilliantly for my wife and I, so we've just left it on. So my fault, just um, I took one for the team with that. The floor of the base camp has impressed me the most. In the 2020 model, it is a GRP floor and um, I have dropped a couple of heavy items on the floor and it originally dinted the floor and I was naturally um, very gutted but within a couple of hours it had popped itself back out so the floor is almost undamageable within reason so I've been very impressed with the floor. The base camp is well known for these storage baskets and I think these storage baskets are absolutely brilliant uh, because you can take them into your home, pack them in the house and then load them in the base camp when you are ready to depart for your adventure. Now I did have a small niggle with the rails on these, um, on these baskets on this one here. And what had happened is that had become loose and it transpired that the screw that was um, holding that in place, the pilot hole was, was drilled a notch too deep and the screw had worked itself loose after a year of us having the base camp. So I repaired that and put a, put a longer screw in and we haven't had any problems with it since. So just one of those minor niggles that I mentioned. As I've already mentioned, the base camp doesn't have the luxurious finish of more premium caravans. So for example, you can see the screw covers. They are just placed covering the screw because that's what the base camp is. It's just a functional, practical camper. Other than those two niggles that we've had with the base camp, I have to say I cannot fault the quality of this caravan. On the basis that it's designed to be a crossover vehicle between a camper van and the caravan. So, if you're considering to buy a base camp and you've had concerns about the quality, I hope that this video has brought peace of mind to that question. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.